So hello, hoes, and welcome to my giant farm tutorial. As you can see, I have devoted quite a bit of my current island to the old farmland. And some of these areas I'm sure you've already seen on like Twitter or Pinterest that people have created on the old internet, but this is how mine turned out. So today I'm gonna break down how I built everything so that you can recreate similar areas to fit into whatever space you have on your island. So for our first area, we're going to start with a simple little field done two ways. So up here, I want to create kind of an open air farmer's market sort of vibe that is as farm to table as possible, like literally farm here, table up there, all this is right here. And so in order to supply the people, I will need le fields. So when creating fields on grass, you've got a couple of options, obviously. Personally, I like mixing in this lighter dirt color with this darker dirt color to create cute little rows. But I have also seen some really fantastic custom paths that you can use as well, like this one I have here. So over on this left side here, one of the ways I'm gonna be making this is by using just items. So starting obviously with every farmer's best friend, Jeff. Yeah. The scarecrow. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I wish I could wet my pants. And then to create some kind of like fake plant crop foliage type situation, I am also going to be using a combination of moss balls and thurium and thru 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 and tu 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 these kinds of plants. And then the old classic watermelon beach ball. And I'm going to try to alternate the way all of these are facing. So some are going this way, some are going the other way to pretend like it's organically grown and not just plastic covered air I put on the ground. But for the other side, option two, if you are new to the game or you're just not as much of a hoarder as myself, you also could really easily make a simple little crop area with just flowers. I have seen people use these yellow flowers as mock wheat, which I think is adorable and I'm going to be doing myself, but really this could be obviously used with any kind of flowers that your little heart desires. But whether you decide to use one or both, you have fields, baby. So next you're just going to want to obviously fence everything off. I I am kind of breaking these up again with these little flowers in the middle of my fence because I saw this on one of my friend's islands and thought it was a just such a good subtle but cute way to show off that you're better than everyone else, so yeah. All right, now for area two, the old butt fields. And what's important to remember, even though this may seem really obvious, is if you want to do any planting, you don't want to use a custom path because obviously that's not going to work. So once more, I am going to be alternating this lighter dirt with this darker dirt to create a nice little patch here. Around the edges, I'm adding a little baby simple fence to create this cute little garden area that personally, I think you could put near a villager's home or in a a designated garden space, but this is a farm video. So we're gonna farm by placing these farm high synthesis down in a farm pattern. And then to fill out the rest of the areas, I'm going to be adding in these peach surprise boxes. Does this make actual sense? No, farmers do not come for me. This is a fictional island in a fictional game, but I think using these surprise boxes just overall are adorable. You could also use the tulip ones if that's something that you're into. You could place some tulips around there. I think it would be quaint, but I'm personally gonna stick with the peach farm or a baby farm if you're disturbed. <laughs> Okay, so moving on, next up is an area I am personally quite proud of, and that is this little pumpkin patch, cause fall is coming, you pumpkin spice skanks. So for this area, I'm going to be starting by making little strips of wata, like so. And again, actual farmers, I respect you, I respect your craft, I think you should all be paid much more and you all do labor. My little brain can't even do correctly in a video game, so I know it's not logical to place a pumpkin 
skin patch near water, but I like to pretend this is a filtration system. Is filtration even the right terminology? I do not think so, but I think this looks cute. So filtration, we're doing it. But as you can see, we have our water. So I'm also just finishing this off with strips of dirt. So the next step is we're going to plant some flowers. So I have chosen these orange wind flowers because I think that they personally look best for this. And I'm kind of spreading these around, just alternating them, but also just again, leaving room for additional items and variants. And now that everything is beautifully planted, you're going to do the next very important, very delicate step of destroying these SOBs. Yes, folks, run all over these until there is no flowers, no life, no nothing, or just pick them, whatever, you know, your personality deems best. And once you're done, you have these perfect little wannabe pumpkin plants. And quick fun fact here, interjecting. But if you use the tree's bounty lamp, these look like little cherry tomatoes growing. And I think it's just the cutest thing because you could use red and yellow windflowers as well and mix them all up with a bunch of lamps and it would just be so cute. I just might cry. But anyway, focusing on the pumpkin. I've seen a number of people make pumpkin patches with little hats that you can place around, which is cute and that's good. You should follow your dreams. But personally, I think that this custom path is adorable, which is why we are using the dirt so that we can stack this on top of it using our brains, people using our brains. So sprinkle this around and then remember again, this could work for tomatoes, just saying. This really could work with whatever, but I am going to be taking these oranges and one by one, popping them down onto this path to make fake little pumpkins because we are doubling up, kids. Get your fruits in. And once these are down, I am again just adding in some more farm-like items for pizzazz, such as a shovel, a bucket, a lantern, really whatever you have rolling around in that storage to finish off the area. And real quick before we get into our next area, if you are also like myself making a giant farm, I think using these tree standees is such a good idea. Like if you wanted to make a little cider area, maybe a little you pick, I think that these fall customized trees and plants and things would be so cute as backgrounds. I am just saying people, I'm giving ideas away for free. Hello, like my video. I have this empty little beach area and I don't think any farm personally would be complete without a clothesline and a plaid shirt. So I'm popping that here and I've also laid down this custom path as you can see to create a little workspace, a little um, open air shed, if you will. So I'm using these tool shelves and iron shelves with accessories to create a workspace. Currently, Eric and Sherb live here and as we all know, those two are just geniuses. So I feel it's only right to give them a small lab. Yes, their she shed has currently turned into a science lab. Well Welcome to my video, subscribe, goodbye. Okay, so speaking of Eric and Sherb, it's time to work on some residential bits. So to the right over here of this home, I am just, you know, putting some general items such as this little hay fencing, a bale of hay, and this horsey. I have seen again many images of people who created really impressive horse barns, but one time as a child, a horse bit my butt off. Yes, pancake butts stand up, unite, and chase me up a tree. So this is really 
all the horse I can handle on this island. But now that I've shared my childhood trauma, I'm going to path off this area to create a cozy outdoor living space. So I'm using these stakes as kind of a mini fencing, a customized log, a couch, and of course, a little fireplace. And of course, a little pet bed for all of your animals and villagers' pets, or themselves. I didn't know you could sit on that. Sure, but we have found you a seat. All right, so next up, I think this is tied with the pumpkin patch for my favorite area. And again, please note that I've seen this online. It's been done, which is actually where I got the inspiration to do this, but I think mine's pretty cute. So I'm going to once again, just be alternating paths, but this time I'm going to be using one row of custom path with one row of the darker dirt path. Then I'm going in with these gray pats and a mixture of purple and blue hyacinths to give the illusion of grapes and create a cute little vineyard, yes. Now, if you would rather make this a strawberry field, there's also strawberry hats. There's also those little ones that start with a K that uh, kind of look like turnips almost. So there's lots of hat options out there is what I'm getting at if you want to change up your fields at any point. But as you can see, I have placed all of these along this dirt path here. And then on top of the custom paths, I alternated the barbed wire fencing with hedges to give everything more of a vineyard field. That is just so cool. Point, I'm gonna burst into tears. Only three more areas. I told you this was a giant farm video. I am literally getting out of breath with just by talking so much. So over here in this grassy area, I'm going to make another little homey yard by giving Sherb a table with all of his necessary things, such as a ukulele, some tools, and just like pop a smoker over here because that seems smart. And finally, to give him more than ample seating, I'm going to give him two rocking chairs side by side so him and Eric can become best buddies and finish everything off with these log benches, a table, and cherry speakers to play a classic farm tune. And finally, the last area that we're going to tackle today is this beach. So if you're going to be working with any beaches, it's important again to just remember that you can only really use a custom path. So it may be worth getting a path that already has a little green patch on it, if that's something that is important to do if you're gonna be using items like myself. But in good news, a quick Google search told me lavender can grow on the beach. So I guess that's an option if you want this coming out of sand. So I just wanted to show you a couple couple more ideas. Obviously all of you are smart and can probably can come up with your own things, but if you wanted to create little patches like this, you could use random things like these bamboo shoots or seeds or saplings along with the tree bounty lamps. Again, I think those are just adorable. And these mum cushions that no one needs to know is a cushion, okay? Money doesn't grow on trees, but stuffing apparently does grow out of sand here. And last but not least, we are going to add in a safe bee area. These are happy bees, do not worry. So I am going to be using this stall to kind of break up the beach area and then just pop a fruit basket, a cooler, and of course a little bear down, which my boyfriend asked if this was one of my villagers that I stuffed and uh, now I'm having nightmares, but I'm placing that there. And then again, using this custom path to create some rows, a little bit of fencing and just popping down three different beekeepers hives. I have customized a couple of these for some variants and along with the hyacinth lamps, which look like little cones, combs, honeycomb. What am I saying? I don't know. This looks cute together. It looks great at night is my point. 
So we've done that. And then of course, Winnie the Pooh would not approve of this without a pot of honey. So I am just popping that down here and that is everything. So as you can see, I did go around and kind of put on some finishing touches of maybe some more seating, adding in like you could, I think you could make a really cute little bug area or fishing area if you were trying to, again, maybe make an entire farm island or whatever. I don't even know how many of you are listening to me. I might honestly just be talking into the abyss at this point. 